Well, we know that you like to park underneath the MCG, yeah. and uh, they're very prized possessions, the blue passes. <laughs> I Bristol. haven't got under there lately. Uh, no <laughs> problems at all for you this no, year? No, Everything okay? okay? Did we walk past a, an establishment in South Melbourne a couple of weeks ago, BT, and you made reference to uh, them selling some paper that you put to good use? <laughs> Damo. Did, did you? Damo. <laughs> no, Damo. I don't know what you're talking about there. And whether you're talking about the Herald Sun or what you're talking about, I've got very, no idea. Very rare to get warned off in the Triple M box. In fact, I reckon Stand out of down, seven Dust. years that I've been I don't think I've ever seen anyone have a big shake of their head and just do not go there, uh, Damo. I'll stop talking to well, you. If you, want to, if you want to catch some blues with the media guys coming into work, go to Gate A. On any day there's a game on at the MCG and just sit there with your camera and there'll be someone like... The duck comes in, he's got no pass or anything and he just, you know, the faces, he's passed, as he always says. The duck, it's just horrific there. Some of the stories they get on gate A is incredible. When they find some, some shotgun pallets or oh. casings in your Which car, is possible. I mean, because you need to use it yeah, on your property for, for legitimate reasons. Yeah, I'm not yeah. suggesting anything I mean, toward there, but... The head would... of the AFL's a farmer, Gillan McLaughlin. He He's a farmer. He wouldn't shoot anything, though, would he? Probably like wouldn't you. drive yeah, a Ute yeah, would he? Yeah. Not a lot of manual labour for Gill and uh, there'll be a few butlers, I think. Just as we go to the break, this is why I think the banners are finished and this is why I think we should get rid of them. <laughs> we look at the Western Bulldogs out here. They're a motley crew, motley crew. <laughs> oh, a 30, motley crew. Oh, 30 motley. people out there. Yeah. <laughs> trying to put a banner up, right? And this yeah, is a good, great mate. moment of their this life, Bristol yeah, Andy. It's 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 one of the great traditions of the it's game. Fair engagement. They get in the CWA hall during the week and they make it up to <laughs> Craig Poker, and then no one can even bust through. You go to the other end, and James uh, Bracewell, who's uh, who's invented and done everything uh, to do with the media, he's created the whole thing. It's been a James Bracewell whirlwind. He's decided they're going just going to go with an air filled uh, with a curtain, a blimp above, a blimp. and just a curtain. And look at the poor old North Melbourne. Only six or seven of them get to come well, on don't the need ground. As many People with the with the air conveyance yeah, there, too. Get rid of the lot of, this, <laughs> this is a reason we could have a block of concrete on each end of the uh, blimp down there, and that would hold it. No problems at all. We could get all of these. Bull- I mean, players can't get on this ground, Damo. They're not oh, allowed to on it. Let them have their moment, BT. It's, it's special to them, and and you yeah. know that the people who have supported that club, the Bulldogs, look at them all. Do we need all of them out there? Does it take that many people to lift two 4B2s with a bit of crepe paper attached to it? But does it hurt you for them to be out there? Oh, I've had enough, sort of. <laughs> he doesn't like kids. He doesn't like supporters. He doesn't like banners. Yeah. He's yeah. just a strange, strange Just a one-man wrecking machine. Oh, no. He doesn't like it. It's out of the game. We're going to take a Come break. On,